Okay, let's go. So uh, the meeting is open. It is July 30th at 7 p.m. Uh, let's go around and state our names for the record. Mark Sotir. Sandra Simon. Rick Madden. Art Edgerton. Scott Clavin. Bob Clark. Frank Keller. Okay. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through a video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at a future date. Comments made in open session will be recorded. So we have on our agenda is the mail is going around. Uh, I have not seen that yet. We have uh, minutes from July 16th. Has everybody had a chance to um, look at the minutes? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from July 16th. Second. Right, we'll second. A motion has been made and seconded to accept the minutes from July 16th. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously carries. Okay, we have um, forms for signature uh, for the maple trees at Ludham's Ford. Is that true? In this mail uh, right folder? Yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't realize you're supposed to sign it. Guys. Okay. I don't think there's anything to discuss on that. We're just going to go around and sign it. Uh, mm -hmm. We have some discussions on the agenda. 190 Barker Street. So um, I actually just drove by that the other day. They got enough, no, we own oh, that, correct? Oh, yeah. We own the yeah, property, yeah. So, but please. we have still outstanding things that are part of the agreement when we bought it. The biggest thing is we haven't got a conservation restriction yet on it. Uh, and part of that is because uh, part of it's a lot of delay, but right at the moment it's kind of held up in that in getting the conservation restriction, the people who would be holding the conservation restriction and writing it all need to know what the building is going to, what the future is for the building, or say the house and the other buildings, because it has to be written in to the conservation restriction. And until we can come up with some definite thing, they can't really go any farther with the restriction. They've gone through a lot. Correct me, Ann Lady, if I'm you listening. I am. Uh, They've gone through a good part of what's necessary. In other words, they've had a field, they've had people out in the field, they've gone before the committee, they've got a rough estimate of price, what it would be, and now they've said you've got to give us more information on the future use of. So are those buildings, uh, so I only saw the building at the street, which is the old house, right? Yeah. Is that a demo site or is that inhabitable? Well, or? when we first, looked at it and were buying it, demo was the thought. And then after looking at the building that still is is salvageable, is in fair, I'm not going to say good shape, but in, in yeah. fair shape, if there was a good use for it, then you know, perhaps it would be. It's, it's not one of those things after this, that being down there this week with the hat and you know, one of the other people. It's a, uh, you know, what would it cost to put it back into shape? Well, it's not handicap accessible, number one, and whatever it is is going to have to be, oh, but number one is the, uh, we can't be used as a residence. That's okay. written into the purchase and sale that it can't be lived in, uh, any of the buildings that are there. And, and what are the buildings beyond the house? I Bonds. There's bonds, bonds and ships. Garage yeah, and bond. Cool. Okay. It was a horse uh, paddock in, in areas, okay. and, and yeah. they had horses in there. Right. So and, the, and that open was little footing brook runs through that as well? Yeah. Looks, yeah. At least yeah. that's what it looks like on the map. Certain yeah. times of the year. And is that, <laughs> so that's a seasonal stream? Uh, yeah, it, it's, it does dry up. I mean, yeah. it, I believe it's classified that way in okay. all of that. It's an intermittent stream. It's a big but property, too. Yeah. How many acres did you say it is? How many acres? It's 26 or something. Yeah, it's like long and narrow. It goes way back. Yeah. Yeah. It's 26 it back. or 28, but it also abuts other properties that, the we have, the SPCA that, that we have control over. Yeah, that uh, one piece trail. of property where the well is the <coughs> off of uh, Peter's, yeah, Peter's, Peter's well, well. Yeah. property comes back into this, and then the area over where the uh, car pond, yeah, yeah. comes there, 50, 50 and some of the property in the back of uh, the one that comes in off of High Street. Highland Terrace? Highland Drive? Yeah, Highland Drive and yep. the extension, yeah. yeah. Wow. So there's pieces out in back of that okay. that, that, that come connected. into it. Yeah, there's quite a piece of 
It yeah, almost looks like it length. parallels that airstrip, right? It, it does. Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah. It goes back. And so there's a lot that could be done, but until the CR is done, we're kind of, you know, hell at at what you know what way do we go? So we, we have to we have to figure out what to do with it before we can take possession of it. Well, we have possession of it. It's just that right. in getting possession of it, some of the stipulations were one because of CPR funds, it needs a CR. Uh, yeah, we can fancy step on the CPR, CR for a long time, but it'll come back and bite us. We already have one piece of property in town that hasn't got a CR on it yet, and it's been a lot of years. There's been uh, word passed down that if the town doesn't get on the stick and do something about it, they're liable not to be refunded again. And who writes the CR? Is that, is that a specialist? Or? Yes. Well, yeah. It has to be an outside organization that accepts responsibility for uh, checking the property and making sure the property is being used for what it's supposed to be used so for. So is it like a botanist that would write it or is it some... No, other? in this case it's Wildlands Trust. It's, it's companies like Wildlands Trust okay, or okay. some of these other people. Oh. Even though it's not their land, they, they have specialists on their payroll that you know, come out and walk it and look it and say, you need to do this, you should have done that, and here's what you need to do in the future. And you know. Say that you wanted to um, just safeguard the right to possibly have a community garden in some place like that. What would be the process? It should be written in the CR. <coughs> so. In other words, it's, it's, these are the kind of things that need to be put into a CR. Right. That's because right. if it isn't in the CR, right. it's real hard to get it into a CR not after really it's already been done. So you need a full <laughs> the CR just to cover yourself for yeah. what yeah. Might, yeah. you might want to do. Yeah. How do they yeah. do that process? Are there meetings for people in town that might have there, it? Wildlands Trust has gone through their, what they think is their thing. They do these right. things you know, quite often. And they have specialists that are doing it. And when they get to a certain point, and all, and we give them a little more, then they would meet and say, okay, here is what we're saying. What else? You know, what don't you like? What do you like? Yeah. And, you know, just because we don't like something doesn't mean it can be taken out. Right. Because they know. But if we want something put in, this is when we get it put in, so too. Is that like an open meeting forum, or is that advertised? Oh, yeah. They would there, there would definitely be at a, at a, yeah. at a meeting like this or at yeah. another night to cool. present it. Yeah. It's not something, it's not just a piece of paper we're going to slip in the right. mail folder that and say, okay, right. guys, yeah. uh, just sign this off. Huh. But huh. that's one of the big problems right now is... <laughs> We can do things there, but we really shouldn't because we don't have right. no, the correct the coverage documents for it. Aren't really, uh, and yeah. because of what happened here in town with the first one, if we can't take care of the first one, why would the town push to take care of the and second one? What is the first one? Uh, the bog on the corner of McQuam and Mattachese Street, Andrew well, Clark. I, I was just talking to uh, somebody about getting the paperwork and pursuing a possible tree farm as far as just growing North Atlantic stuff. And I talked about that with the water department before, and they go through DEP, and um, that's a process, so. I'll say now, you, when you, you've got a different story down there too that's yeah. <laughs> causing a problem. You have a piece of property that basically has funds from three different attend entities that bought it. The whole thing or pieces of? Well, they, it's, they it can't was figure out the how whole, to divide it. That, yeah, it was the whole thing. Now you've got oh, three people with money in it, and it's got to be. It looks like the only way you're going to do it is to divide it up because there are already some restrictions, or yep. not a conservation restriction, yep. but other things similar to that with some of the people who brought up the money in some of the other identities. And ours hasn't. Well, how is, what if you could see, get them all to agree? To we'll do never the same happen. thing. Yeah, never it's, it's, it's been. It's <laughs> been <laughs> who are the entities? <laughs> never happened. It, it, the entities are conservation, water, water Division, department, and DEP. And DEP. Yeah, yeah. Really, they all like trees. Huh. Like a bunch of cedar trees. Uh, well, that's, basic, that's a strange combination. Uh, basically, yeah. DEP <laughs> has said if you guys don't get your finger on it, but get the restriction taken out, we want our money back, which they were the biggest Maybe contributors. We should plant trees. <laughs> Then, then that's my my question. I think we'll we'll move on, but well, who or what is the catalyst that starts the CR process? Who's the 
responsible party to say, okay, this is yeah. what we want, and you're contracted to do it. Yeah. Well, on Barker Street, it would probably be us, right? Well, it's us and the CPC. The, yeah, well, yeah. us and CPC, but all of the tra uh, transactions for it were handled out of the selectman's office. So the Otherwise, selectmen are in charge so, of getting yeah, so the So basically, done. it's the selectmen's to do to do it. Okay. But you know, they it's uh, it's theirs, but they want they want somebody else. Yeah, want somebody else to do it. We Rachel has been the key person. That, well, what's going on so far, mm -hmm. but until we can tell them more information, you know, they can't, uh, they meaning Wildlands Trust, now that we brought the, the name out, uh, Wildlands Trust can't do anything more until we can give them some information of what's going to happen to the buildings, oh. or how we want to handle some of that. Isn't there just one building on that one? Huh? This is the one pump house. Oh, this is the other one. Bar yeah, yeah, Bar Street. Street. yeah. I'm, I'm not even. Yeah. Let's just. Uh, Bar Street I'm sorry thing. to interrupt here, but it's uh, it's seven ten. We'll, yep. we'll we'll pick this up after. Let's uh, get our yeah, hearings yeah. done, and then we'll get back to this. So, we, you are on the uh, on the stage, sir. Please All right. state your board. name and company for the record. Rick Grady from Grady Consulting. Okay, this is uh, for request for determin determination of applicability for 120 Water Street, Rosenstein. Apparently on this one here, we designed a new septic system for them outside of the buffer zone. Um, existing home at 120 Water Street here. We have a wetland that John Zimmer had flagged for us along this portion of the property here. 100 foot buffer zone cuts through the middle of the house. Uh, all of the septic works located outside of the buffer. Uh, however, they would like to do an irrigation well. So the irrigation well is located uh, just on the back side of an existing pool. Uh, within the existing tree line. Um, we need to maintain a 100-foot setback to the leaching per Board of Health requirements. Um, yep, and you so, were able to do that, right? Yep. Okay. So we just want to put in an irrigation well uh, right behind the pool. And is that the street or the property line right there? That is the back property line. The street okay. is actually off in that direction. And you have your setbacks away from the, pro uh, the property line as well? Correct, we do. A deep water well? Um, no deeper than you have to. Right, exactly. well, that's yeah. what I'm wondering yeah. what they got to do there. Yep, I wouldn't expect it to be a bedrock well, but I right. would expect it to be drilled probably yep. 40 feet or right. so. Yep, so a shallow. Yep. Pretty simple. Yep. You've been on site. It is. Yeah, I know. It hasn't changed in a long time. Young house. Yeah. Oh, Still okay. pumping with a pitcher yeah, pump. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It looks like it's. It's very simple. Yeah, it's, yep, it is. It doesn't. Yeah. Uh, I move it close. Second. Second. Okay, um, motion has been. Made and seconded yes. to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Okay, the hearing is closed. Will we um, issue negative three? Still the doing the plans, just a regular thing to make sure when they do the well, they don't get any, let anything go to the well. And if they're drilling, if they're really drilling, true, truly drilling. That's yeah, when it gets, they get a little messy when they start pumping the water down if they're in the rock sometimes. I'll second Bob's motion. Okay, a motion has been made and seconded to issue a negative three on this and uh, also put some language in there just for the uh, for the well drilling. You got that, Rachel? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion unanimously carries. Thank you. And just for the record <laughs> here, you take care. please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our officer, DEP, if you need assistance. And Okay. We got five minutes we are Yeah, so let's we can uh, um, get back to that discussion. There's monies available through the state for um, improving water quality and drainage. I hear right now that uh, I was told by a warden that there is a lot of money uh, in the state freed up right now. I don't know if it would at the Rotary Bog where you kind of took that header through the took the little. Oh, the the earth fell house. through, yeah, by the yeah. pump house. Um, if it's applicable to get some monies for that, where it's drainage and it's cleaning up and upgrading. Also, Park Ave, that is eroding, and we brought it up before, so that would be maybe something that the funds would be available for. Does that need to be an agenda item, Rachel? Yep. I, do you it should, get, well, it should be. The only thing I can say is if there's money just been made available, available most of that money has already been 
free spent because we've already got we have we meaning the commission and others have money in another part of it that the money has just been made available supposedly that we're waiting to hear from Probably. so it's not like yep. right now we can put something in the things have already been but what we need to do is get these kind of things set up to go in yep. for the yep. next for time yep. that they yeah. think about some and money I, and i agree with all that however we uh 190 Barker Street. We, 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 have, yeah. we have drifted. Yeah. Okay, no, I just so wanted to bring it up. We need to rein it back yep. into 190 Barker and then we can bring this up on a future uh, agenda to, to have a more in depth discussion. Bobby, what, if, what happens if in five years we want to put something else in there? Like uh, this thing you passes. Mean, like change through? the conservation, change the restriction? Yeah. yeah. You probably even not. Yeah, ch the conservation restriction is much like. Although, well, at first of all, it's. It is a piece of conservation land, and the only way you can do anything with a piece of conservation land is basically go all the way to the state legislature to get approval. And that's like a two-thirds vote. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's in other words, when you say or buy or turn over to conservation, you've kind of closed the door on any type to of anything else yep. going on that piece of property. This is one of the reasons why people sometimes give it or sell cheap to conservation because once it's there, it's as protected as anything else. The yeah. town can't just take it and sell it or anything else. That's right. They have to go through a whole lot of work. And so, that yeah, I would say basically uh, this piece of property, whatever we do to it, you know, as far as buildings or anything else, are about all you're going to be able to see on on the property. You might be able to get a, you know, I'm looking in the future, this is a nice big park area and we have, you might be able to get a, uh, a house for toilets. Right. You yeah. might, I mean, yeah. it, but it would take a little bit of work, but that's the kind of thing that they might let slide in. But as far as a uh, garage for the, or anything else, you know, they so, want it wide open. And this is part of what Wildlands Trust really wants. They would like to see the place, all anything that looks like it was, was, yeah. was man-made, gone. Return, just gone. Return it back so to it's life. straight open, straight open space. That doesn't mean you couldn't perhaps have your gardens yeah. and and things like that because that's Orga organic, not of course, open yeah. space. But you couldn't have a structure. I yeah. think it, it'd be a shame. I mean, yeah, if we end up demoing the house, that that that's there. But I think it'd be a shame to give up the two bonds out of there. I agree. Yeah. For store just for storage for anything yeah. Yeah. as Any far as well, conservation again, again, needs or perhaps with the right talk to wireless trust they can work the bonds in as storage yeah. buildings. Yeah. 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 And you guys were down there um, lots of this week. Yeah, well we <laughs> walked the outside for other reasons because of material being ready being available to put a driveway in, which is fine and it needs it except that's like putting a frosting on the cake yeah, before, before we build the cake, stir yeah. up the batter for the cake. But if you know, if we get the, getting the material for nothing, if we don't put it there, we ought to put it somewhere where we can use it. We want to take it. It's just, yeah, I, you know, do we want it there or do you know? There's a couple of loads of material that have been dumped there very recently. Okay, that's all. That's a we're trying to fill in the hollow on the front of the corral. Yep. Um, it'd be nice to have a nice work party down there. Uh, a work party for half a day even with some people who help take on the old fence, clean up some of the, the brush air and open up that front of it. It's being done partially by DPW workers when they can get a few minutes, but right this time of year it's hard to get anybody that yeah. can't find something that the town really needs more than the cleaning of that up. But that's that's what that is. In other words, where Scott is is working at it whenever he can slide somebody or a truckload or something in there. Yeah, I'll make it he I'll he make also it is the one that take is a, doing take the cutting. Back there. <laughs> have you ever been back there? No, no, just on. Yeah. Nice property. But, but you guys have, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, I just I would just say I'm gonna It's got like old paddocks, paddocks and stuff. Is there any kind of market to sell that house and move it somewhere? Or I would think, as only my guess is, is no, only because knowing the size of the house and all, and the cost of moving a building these days, yeah. uh, usually the uh, utility companies will pay you more not to move it than yeah. what you could sell it yeah. for. 
What about, is it a, has an upstairs or is it a single floor? <laughs> upstairs. It's actually three floors. Three yeah. floors. Basement's, basement's yeah. got that a floor. That would be one of the problems. Uh, make it handicap accessible. Yeah, I was thinking the first if it was, floor if it was one level. It's already easy. five foot or so off of the normal ground yeah. area. Yeah. And the third floor, uh, or the second floor, would be completely useless because the stairway is that's such that there's just no way you could ever get yeah, anything get up there. out of it. You'd have to have an elevator. Right. And every doorway in it is, would make a wheelchair accessible. Well, that's why if you know, it was a, uh, one story, you could just open it with the lumber they have today. Engineered, yeah. you could just open the whole thing up. Yeah. But, yeah. And throw a handicap bathroom. You know, if you people really want, I, bet I have keys for it. You know, Scott and I, because uh, they, they, DPW drained it all yep. a year ago when we first yeah. got it so that we could, you know, we didn't have to keep the heat on all went along. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. so is it drywall or lath or how old is it? I think it's plaster and lath. Plaster yeah, and lath? I think so, Probably yeah. Is, yeah, right. yeah yep. I had a stove in the middle of the one. There was a big wood up. stove. That, that's gone. That's gone, yeah. That's okay. gone. Yeah, most of, the, most of the, anything that Where was of much value. The gentleman who owned the house oh, before, yeah. we oh. took, it, took it. How long has it been vacant? Well, I, can, 15, I guess it's what you, what do you call it? years. Vacant. Or? vacant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it hasn't been physically or heavily lived in probably for three, four years yeah. or more. When his, it hasn't been since his wife died anyway. Right. Uh, and he has another house here, but he kept the house all along and that's okay. and that's really why the when he sold it he insisted there would be no one to live in the house because he of he and his wife and the yeah. and the memories are there. That was one of his stipulations that I don't want anyone living in it. We're at seventy twenty there. there. All right, so we'll uh, we'll wrap this up after it's time for our seven twenty hearing. We have a request for a determination of applicability for twenty two Harvard Street, Van Lur Lakes. Can you state your name and company, sir? Sure. Uh, where would you like me over here? That's fine. Yeah, we're turning over the chair. Set that right on there. There you go. Um, for the record, I'm Peter Lyons with Collins Civil Engineering Group, representing the homeowner for this project. What we have going on is a septic repair on an existing three-bedroom home. Um, on site, we have wetlands in the back, 50 and 100 foot buffers. Currently we have a failed septic in the backyard, a uh, tank to a leaching field over on the other back, uh, side of the backyard. What we're trying to do is pick up the plumbing in the back, go to a 1500 gallon tank, and then a field laid out in the backyard. Um, we are, other than the wetlands, we're contending with an underground drainage line on this side. Um, between that and the old system, it just made more sense to put it on this side. Um, you know, you're not going to gain yeah, anything by coming up here. Fun. It's a little higher in the yard, so it'll, you know, tuck into the existing grave nice. Um, we have eight inch silt sock proposed from property line to property line and then wrapping back up around the project. Everything's going on in existing lawn. There shouldn't be any trees or vegetation removal associated with the project. Storing soil on site or off site to when you when you do your dig? Um, yeah, they are taking out about eight feet of soil, so we don't. I don't know the answer to that question. Um, I would anticipate it all pretty much coming off because they're bringing in clean fill. Yep, clean fill so they don't fill. really have the need for most for of the soil to be put to back. Be, to be put back. Okay. So uh, with the exception of a little bit of loam, yeah, it's probably all coming out. You're going to keep your grades, in other words, pretty much the same. Yep. Around the yard, you're not going to change the grades in the yard. Nope, the grading's not going to change at all. Um, it's going to blend right in. The is it a pumped up line. system? Nope. Is it going to be a raised system above nope, other grades so it, it works well? Um, Good. It works well then. We're lucky. No, we got plenty of depth of groundwater. We got yep. about seven feet. Nice. Good. You're lucky. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yep. What is the current system for? 
use because it don't take water no more. Yeah. Did it have a Zabel filter, the old one? The old one? I don't know who did the inspection. How's it going to? Uh, do you know? Do you know anything about this drainage line? Where is it? Who's um, it? We located the outlet end yeah. right near the wetland flag, yeah. and then uh, I believe there's a set of manholes not shown on this plan that were located. Um, so, assuming there's no bends in the line, you know, we couldn't find any records of that with the town. So we kind of just assume a straight shot um, by staying away no. from it. And I'm, I'm not it. trying to throw a curve now, no. but if there's a drain line across the property that doesn't have a an easement on it and it's taken down drainage, now usually is it we yep. run, we've run into this I can remember yeah the high street and all yep. where there were drain lines that weren't recorded and you know theoretically the lot the property owner could tear that line yeah. out and nothing could happen because it's not a reported line. So Yeah, I'd have to I don't have my book with me. It's at my office. What's the best thing for everybody in that situation? To try and get an easement for the line at the well, same time here yeah, or to I mean do you think that line created the wetlands? Yeah, well, it's written to the wet one now. Right. Is, it, is it where it should be? Right. No. It feeds but the wet one. Is it grade right? Rather than even get to that part of it, yeah. it isn't even doesn't even right. exist. Yeah. But if it doesn't exist and something is done here, then we've got other problems somewhere right. else. And right now, where it's crossing a piece of property that's before us, we have a little more, uh, and I don't want to use the word leverage, but we have a little more chance of getting the property owner to no, give you, you access really give you a, some sort of an easement yeah on. it makes sense to uh, have one I mean it's if it's creating a wetland doors draining from a road to yeah. it it's part of a system that needs Un to unfortunately be. so too many of these in town yeah. all of them now that were put in no well it, we need to do it nobody cares we just dig it how is in. that normally achieved is it a lawyer on their side our side whose side what uh, is the situation well, I think the first thing is it need the DPW people need to look into it because yeah. it's, it's not really our problem, yeah. it's, it's a DPW yeah. problem. And, there and was before a fire, we so give anyone permission to do anything, we should make sure over that, that all the boards are happy with it. So sometimes there's no records. Yeah. Well, theoretically, if there was an easement for that drain line on the property we're speaking about, it looks like it passes to the abutting property before it gets to Harvard Street. Yeah. yeah. Is it? Yeah, so it's, a, a, it's, more, it's going to be more than more one than piece of property. One, yeah. But you, is it helpful to The this? only problem is that if they damage it here, that could take, potentially flood that property oh. out there. Right. right. But you'll only have p a partial right. easement. Yeah, it would be a partial, and then, was, then it would be up to. I'm, I'm not saying I'm not the lawyer, but I would yeah. say it would be up to the town's legal department through the DPW to obtain the rest, get the rest of the yeah. easement yeah. and all. Okay. And I, I'm not sure, but I think the easement could be granted and not affect your sewer right. system either. I mean, right. I don't yeah, I don't think it would have. I mean, how would it be place. off of it? Right, that could be a simple thing. Yeah, right. Yeah, we have 50 feet shown, yeah. you know, roughly. Off that end, off the drain. This is a tight. This is tight. The corner of the actual pipe. As many times the drainage is closer than that to the the pipe. The pipe. Yeah, the hard part. The plastic. The hard part. Can you detect where the pipe is? With they have a machine or something that you can see it. Can you detect where the pipe is without digging it up? You, you can, we can sometimes snake them out. Um, yeah, we show it as a metal pipe. If it's shallow to the surface, you can sometimes yep. pick it up with the metal detector. Um, personally, I did not do that. I don't know if you know someone else from the company located that. I don't think snake them with a radio wire. And pick yeah, up or, the radio well, if it's wire. concrete pipe, has got reinforcement, yeah. so it should be able to They also have a radio wire. Depends on how deep it is. Snake it with a radio wire. Depends on how deep it is. Uh, it can't be well, too deep that. Mm -hmm. here. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing here is really no. very deep. And it could be one of those, if, if the, there's catch basins out here. Do you know anything about the 
is this a piece of property that's up for sale? They're trying to do this for a sale or? I don't know all the logistics of it. Um, I do know that they're trying to get this done as quickly you know, and efficiently as possible. It is a failed system. You know, you have breakout happening in the backyard. Um, right now, it's doing more harm sitting there than, you know, right. we're trying to oh. just handle it. In that, in that case, I think. It's on the market. Yep. Yeah, it's it might get lucky with the laser beam. We just happened to and actually shoot through it. Okay. Connected. Connected. Yeah. You might get lucky. So, is there anybody living in that house it. today? It's for sale. It's pending. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know that answer yeah. either. Uh, well, I think we need to. I think we this. we have to, we to notify DPW of this yeah. before we can. Yeah. We can One go more. on with. I I would not feel table right going. I don't feel right holding them, but I don't feel right not. Okay giving DPW at least to uh, our next meeting I make a to motion come then. before our, come, no look at it and decide how they want to want to handle it for the best of everybody in other words make a motion to table it for further consideration something like continue that, make a motion to continue 22 Harvard Street until till we hear from well for two week for till our next meeting okay. because I don't want anyone oh, dragging feet just because we don't know I think we need to put the pressure on them and not yeah so in, in fairness to the yeah to the in fairness to the to people the that, the table, yeah. that right. by, ne by the next meeting we sh need to know whether you're handling us whether we're it's just going to okay breaking. you're right. on your own but at least we've given you the chance to yeah. out still, all so right so I'll make a motion to continue now. 22 Harvard Street until August 13 our next meeting Second. Second. So a motion has been made and seconded to continue 22 Harvard Street till our August 13th meeting. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? And I'm not going to vote. We're sorry. Yeah. 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 Okay. One abstention. Yeah. Scott, love it. Um, just so I'm aware, so you guys are going to handle, you know, contacting DEP or whatever. I mean, at well, this point, what is our... Well, it's our I'm town DPW. The DPW. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we're... we're, we're not going to act on it until we hear from the DPW. In other words, we want to warn them of it, yeah. of what we see here, yep. and at least have them respond to it and try to record it and yep. figure it out. Okay. And if they don't get back to you by the next meeting, I mean, we can't really. If they don't, keep if they don't come back out. to us with some, some sort of some an explanation <laughs> one way or the other, then we'll probably just forget that it even exists because. We've then done our due diligence. Yeah, we can't so, yeah, just right. do that tonight. Mm -hmm. If we didn't, if you know, well, on our side, we didn't get that done the by the next sure. meeting, then you know there'd be leverage there. Or what size is that consideration? Like? What size is uh, it? Like? It's showing us a twenty-four. Twenty-four metal. Yeah, that's Ooh. what it yeah. that's what it says. On the what a spiral? It's mm -hmm. probably spiral. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Any other concerns? Questions with anything? I, I don't. No. Uh, other than that, I don't. I myself don't see a problem. No. No. With so, it. Exactly. Yeah. so for what you came to talk about, I don't think we right. have a problem. I think we're it's fine the with that. Unintended yeah. consequence of that line that's uh, yeah. holding you up right now. Okay. And what's the next meeting date? August thirteenth. And I have you on. I have you on um, our agenda for seven forty. Okay. And in the meantime, you might convey to uh, both your both. company and the people here that if they have any of the questions, they can contact our office and either Rachel or I will try to guide them through yeah. what we see here <coughs> and what needs to get done. Would it also be fair to say if they were willing to grant an easement, that this could be a pretty quick oh, yeah. decision, yeah. right? So that could be their path of least resistance is just to grant the easement to us yeah. or to the town? Yeah. If, if we can get we, even a letter or saying they would grant the easement, mm, yeah. we probably could approve it and then let them work out the, yeah. the rest of it. It looks like it's being sold, so it's one of those things that probably needs to be in there. In the agreement, the sale agreement. agreement. Right, purchase and yeah. sales. Now, there's nothing we could do to like approve it tonight pending an easement is established. I mean, we just don't want to. Well, push it out the, we can't really approve it until we have all the people in line. That have to deal with it. I sure. Mean, uh, that would be fair to them. Okay. Yeah. yeah if that's what it is, it is what it is, then. Okay. Yeah, I yeah. think I think Rick has brought up a point. If we if we did a, a 
approve it tonight, then it's appealable. Right. And you don't want an appealable. Yeah, it's even worse than sure. and coming back in two weeks. I mean, okay. Yeah. Um, should we call you? I mean, give you a call in a week and check in on it, or? Yeah, if you talk to them. Well, as I said, they can check in with with either Rachel or myself, and we we will okay. let them know what we can, yeah. and we will stay on top of it as best yeah. we can. Yeah, sure. Is it something that you'd want an easement on that? I have to, without you have to look knowing, at it. Without have knowing out there, yep. haven't been out there, I wouldn't yep. know. Yep. Um, How would you? Okay. But Thank you. Me yeah, and the highway form would be out there. If they come up with any, you know, special requirements or whatever, just let us know beforehand that it's going to be shown on the plan and we can make any changes you need. Sure. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I had a question about 190 Box Street. And we talked a lot about a CR, and we talked about who the responsible party is to stop the CR, and we decided it was the selectmen. But then the selectmen look for some guidance, and Wyland's Trust has made um, a determination. Um, they've looked at the property and have some suggestions on what the CR should look like. Is that where we are right now? Yeah. Yeah. There's okay. A, you wanna you wanna speak, Rachel? Well, I don't know. Oh, you pretty much covered everything. Yeah. We're kind of just at a standstill right now because we do have a draft agreement that was sent to us by Wildlands Trust, but without information and input from you folks, we can't really move forward. And then who's the final party that authors the CR? Uh, they Wild get the Lungs Trust. They yeah. do. In okay. this instance. In other instances, it's other entities. Okay. But for yeah. us, for this property, it's Wildlands Trust. And so we and we, we fund the CR, or is that funded through this the Wildlands Trust? CR was originally funded with CPC funds when the property was bought. But, but and here's the but, uh, un I'll take it. The funds were prematurely returned to the CPC because there was a thought that everything had been completed. Okay. Um, so we have to, CPC has to reallocate those funds. Okay. Yeah. Does that require another town meeting vote? Yes. Yep. Okay. So, so it's somewhat in limbo right now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So have we put it on the now, default town meeting? Again, you, you probably ought to realize that the CR is not necessarily inexpensive. Do you remember what the dollar figure was that they had roughly quoted? I think it was, I want to say it was like 10. 13,000 something. And, and mm. is, what was the amount that we uh, returned back to the CPC? Oh, when I, in excess of Oh, well, well in excess. Okay. Because also out of that return money is the money for the sign that has to be yeah. put up there. That hasn't been done yet. And the sign hasn't been put up because without the CR, yeah, you might have to take it the down. before the, the sign cut. for the crosswalk. Um, what? The no, sign no, for the, 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 so the this is the uh, so Michelle's so Meadow. In other oh, words, it's, okay, it has okay. an official name and everything else. An acreage yeah, right and all that, so like the a state song. Um, figure was thirteen five. But that was because he's not sure what we want to do with the building. Right. So that's yeah. a big thing for them if we want to keep those buildings because they have to be in constant maintenance, meaning yep. the Wildlands Trust. They have to constantly maintain those buildings if we keep them. So that could inflate the cost. So at what point can we look at Wildlands Trust suggestions for? I can send it to you at any time. Yeah. If that's what's, what we're and that way we'd today. have like something like a starting point and we could say, oh, we like that or we want to yeah. add to this or... That's okay. yeah. 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 So yeah. I think the big thing we need to keep in mind is what are we going to do with the building? Yeah. yeah. Because without All the that, buildings. the rest of it really is, you know, can't Just do anything. We, we, we should be thinking about it all. Yeah. But yeah. what do we do with that main, the main well, building? The worst part. Part. Well, yeah. Yeah. we could use an office. is only going to be a worksheet that shows you the costs and what they are thinking okay. that will be covered. The, the draft CR isn't available even. To oh, okay. Yeah. So they okay. just want to get an idea of what we want to put in there. Mm -hmm. like the Handicapped accessing it is just as simple okay. as a ramp, whether it's a wraparound ramp or a ramp. It's a ramp. Yeah. It's but um, getting and inside, that. and yeah, once you get in, um, oh, that's why really where it's a two story. Because right. as soon as you do anything, right. you're starting to with the lights, lights and the heat, heat right. and all sink. of this and, and the maintenance yep. back on it and yeah. somebody's going to have to Could. pay it. So that means that if it's it's our building, so no matter who takes it, it's still 
house. As right. well, so, it's a lot like the beach areas that we're going. You know, we aren't even talking about that one. But no. yeah, and some of the beach area. This, this last couple of weeks, the beach at Ferris Pond Colony came up with a problem. We gave the. We basically we own the beach. It's our control. Right, we manage it. We gave it to recreation or the town landing people mm -hmm. to Beaches, yeah. run. Well, things happened. It came back and now it it had some things that needed to be done. Well, town landing committee got They don't uh, want to do it. They don't want to do it and they don't have any And so it came back that we're they're doing work. We, so far it's been volunteer. It hasn't cost the commission what, anything. What are they trying to upgrade? What are the fixes? There was trees taken down in there and yep. some big pine stumps yep. and we, we, had, we were asked to grind the stumps. We don't have a town grinder, right. so we said, yeah, when we got a chance, the people in the DPW had a, someone working, not from them, from a private contractor, working in the area, and said to them, gee, we got a couple of stumps here that could be ground sometime. Well, unbeknownst to everybody else, the guy had some time, he, he went did. in and ground the stumps. So now there's big piles of ground stump. <laughs> On the all over the beach. This is beach season. Good mulch. This is beach season. No, they're saying, oh, "What do you mean? We got piles of stumps. What are you doing to us?" And we Pile went out and yeah, they were right. There was big piles of oh. stuff all over. So, but the stumps right. were gone. All right. So we, that's a consideration. If um, we suggest to improve the infrastructure, heat, electricity, then there's all the consequence of the maintenance and the fees and yeah. the. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. You've got all, you're taking yeah. on. You're going to have to basically have an operational yeah. budget for the year. Yeah. yeah. What about yeah. a conservation, you know, area? They don't. We don't really have a. Area. They're not going to let us out of here. Okay. With this so new, yeah. new okay. setup, so there's no, there's no, that there's was, no that use. Was a, that was one of okay. our. We, we first tried for that. Yep. Yeah. The not happening. No, no, no clubhouse. <laughs> yeah, no clubhouse. Done. No treehouse. No clubhouse. At least not for. Not for conservation sure. or anything else. They want they want people in this office to take care of everything. The townspeople right. as they come through. In case you haven't seen yeah. what goes on now, between the three or four departments here, one of these this ladies is, the hub. is here to yeah. help the counter people when they come in. Can I can I spoke on that for a second? Sure. It's the theory is great. I sit, I've sat here a lot more than I should. And it's the, for the customer coming in, it's nice because as soon as someone comes through the door, one of them jumps up and helps them. But you all know that you can be sitting here on this computer or someone walks through the door. You have to leave this, go over there, and at least just talk to them. When you come back here, you've not lost just this time. You've got to get yourself reoriented to what you're doing. So. Yep. It isn't necessarily the way it's set up now. Good they need actually for a all of the, yes. the people here. Yep. Yeah, because plus, if, if, if somebody's coming in for building and Tracy, obviously that's well, yeah, but well, they, they're your being, scope, right? Besides saying being, hello, everybody's being you know, cross-trained. They're, 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 they're being cross-trained. They're giving the right, the right, the right information out. Here's, here's the application. Oh, really? okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. It's, it, that part of it's working good, but I, I see, and I've already said it to the people upstairs, you know, that it's nice, but it's not nice for us getting our work. It's not yeah. fair for the the girl, the women here, to be disrupted to, to in have the middle a of stuff work all the time. that needs to get done. Yep. Mm. And some days it's no, not too bad. And other days it's two or three people at the counter yeah. all, um, all the time. Oh, all right. Sure. Yeah. Real right. Back, we'll we, back to the community garden. We have drifted. Okay. Yeah. So, so um, I was going to go back to that property for a second. So 190 Barker. Let's. Yes. We got two more minutes and then okay. we'll move on. Um, so. Say there was an organization like the Mattachusa uh, Garden Club that wanted to pursue a community garden there. Is there an option for a meeting where they would be notified or they have to look and see or what is the process that it, Like if you wanted to on? add that in the CR? Yeah, like, like what would be their process? Where do they start? I would think the CR would, would have to be presented to us first. Yeah, the CR. And then you're yep. going to add. Yep. 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 But, yeah. And then it, so they give us a basic need, plan, and then we could adapt, to, uh, amend it or whatever. Because uh, the the town administrator's office is taking the ball. We're, the work is being done here, yep. but that's still yeah. where the ball is. If somebody was in, interested in perhaps being the custodians of that building for a good reason, yep. say the garden, then 
They really got to clear it with selectmen. Right. We went through this with the corner set across the street. Right. Exactly. You know, and that's so, what said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shed with big plants. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is the problem. I mean, and the same you know, we're still. We're, we're, we're in the middle of all of it, but we you know, aren't necessarily the people that are making the decisions. But what if it Although, didn't involve the buildings? Yeah. It's just they wanted to have a garden. Obviously it wouldn't have to be so much a party wants a garden. I think it would be written in the CR that space is allotted for allotted. this activity. Right. Space yeah. right. allotted right. for right. gardening. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Yeah. And if it gets to that point, then I think believe, we will have more of the responsibility on us than upstairs. But right, right now, until there's a CR, mm -hmm. I mean, they're kind of the people that signed the, yeah. I got you. the purchase part of it, so they're still saddled well, with the, the yeah. work. The worst part is, whatever happens down there, they decide to demo it. There's still going to be a thirty thousand dollar bill yep. by the time you demo the building. The, sure, yeah, to, sure. to, yeah. to, to limit out those three yeah. buildings and reclamate it, yeah. definitely so, and get rid of it. You know, I mean that that's something everybody's got to think about too. Right. I, I think the buildings are there, and I think the storage idea is a good thing. And um, obviously, there's it's it's good to have them. They're there to put them back wouldn't be applicable ever again. So, right. um, I think it's a good thing to be. I think, with them I think from what I've heard from other people, how they got involved, I don't know. Other people is part of the original agreement was the house was going to be demoed. Okay. What about the buildings? No, all, all this person had mentioned the house. Just Didn't the say house. anything about yeah, the, the house. Let's say the house garden, was they really the only other building. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah without, building. Without, without seeing the flower pots. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say this, it almost other, makes sense to demo the house. Leave the other buildings. There's three other buildings there. But we'll see. One of them's in tough shape, two of them. With a little space, could be locked, you know, so you could make yep. it secure. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Let's. Uh, so, Rachel, you'll send out that draft so we can just take a look at it. And, you bet. Okay. All right. And Let's again, if someone wants to schedule to go down and look in the building, and we'll, I'll get with them and we can I will, get uh, in. I'm going to get in and through it again. We. I haven't been in in the last two or three months, but I no. go by it to make sure nobody else. It doesn't look like anybody <laughs> else. Nobody's been. Yeah. Nobody's been. Yeah. Nobody's the doors. We no were no raccoons right. have so come in. Let's um. Let's move on to Ludham's Ford Progress. Who's uh, Who's got that? Uh, I believe we're on a road to solving a problem. The trees are going. You sign the green to, to buy the trees. There's people lined up to put the trees in and they should be put in in the next short period of time mm -hmm. and uh, then it we're, we're working on it I I haven't talked to some people some people have volunteered the water was that what I've heard or? yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. No, not all the time but Boys I'll, I'll take out, take yeah. we got yeah otherwise even after they're in we still have the yeah, they, they only need of what is it, five care gallons a day, basically. That's the requirement. Did, did, they have did slots. 20 gallon bags. Yeah, and they, the tree actually, I, I think, is five gallons a day usage, is what they require. I don't uh, know what the bag lets out. I, I, I don't either. So. I've seen the bags, but I haven't yeah. seen them up close. Yeah, I don't and see what the. I don't know if is. they arrived today or not, but yeah. they were. I, I, I was told it's five gallons a day. Is, right, is, is what right. To that's but I also, in the thing, this agreement, the rest of the guardrail. Yes. Will be installed. Now they're going to take the rocks up, put guardrail in. Yeah. That's nice. You can maintain and that weed. It's going under it. It's going to match what's and out and on it, West Elm Street. And the weed will not be able to get underneath, like the rocks. It's growing under the rocks. It's well, so hard to get rid of. The, the nicest things with the with the mower that goes down there, mows you be able to get a lot right. of it mowed right. under the guardrail. And you can weed whack the rest of the thing. Yeah. Under the rocks, you really can't get no. it. it. It just loves growing under rocks. Mm. Okay. And the sign will be at the small wall I saw a picture of the idea of the sign. Has anyone thought about taking that dam out? See, cause it, has anyone thought about taking the dam out? Because it doesn't really serve a real uh, purpose. At right the now. present time, there's an engineering firm who already has engineered and been approved, and your town has approved money to improve the dam, not take it not out. Take it Why, out. What's its purpose? I think they're concerned about the sediments that might be. Yeah. The, the, that is the direct concern. The silt behind oh, it. Yeah. Yeah. Upstream, the there's here. problems, and you don't know how far downstream it's yeah. gone. Yeah. I, I know people that are heavily involved in it have looked at it, uh, and no one is. I haven't heard any big 
thing about taking that particular dam out at the present time. No, actually, somebody actually went out and put new boards in. I don't know who yeah. did that. But yeah, I was, I was looking at that the other day. new boards installed, and I know we're in partnership with Hanover right now to yeah. do some major work down there. On the actual um, ladders and structures? or I just believe it's closer to the bridge on yeah. our side. Yep. Yeah. Uh, from what I understand, they, that they need to extend the wing wall on our side because uh, yeah. on heavy flow the water is going out <laughs> around the wing wall I, and around and that's part of where some yeah. of that wash in that corner is. Yep. I, I didn't, I'm not part of the engineer, but that's what I understood is it's, one it's of a, the big parts. It's amazing to done. think so much water can come through that area that goes around that dam, but it does. All right, well, so it's gone up and yep. over the road. Yep. So the, really? the five trees are ordered. Six. 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 Someone's going to water them. Yeah, I'm going to water and, um, part of it. <laughs> DPW uh, will we'll determine so. placement. Oh, and get our placements for already. It's okay. actually, uh, somebody has determined the placement already. Perfect. Yep. yep. Placement. And I say, uh, all this, uh, as I understand it, I haven't been there, but I understand it has all been run by the North River people. And okay. It's got, I know it's got their blessing, but at least they said go ahead with it. With it. And I'm, I'm, and we're getting that information from places that, yep. that, it'll, that it'll I hope is right. It'll be nice to close out this item. <laughs> yeah, yes, once and for all, yes. Yes, it will be. All right. What's I, I see the next thing on the agenda is a duck crossing sign for West Elm Street. <laughs> uh, <so. laughs> Apparently, we've had a formal request. Yeah. Make way for duck Someone rings. in Pembroke has asked for one? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, Where it, is it? Uh, it it's standing uh, on Okay. You don't have it already there. That makes sense. Do you? The request it? from I mean, of all places. for that sign? Well, it originally came from Jen in the treasurer's office mm -hmm. um, because someone mentioned it to her. They know that she works at the town hall. Okay. But it originated... From a child, actually. From a child who was concerned about <laughs> the ducks saw the crossing. Mommy trying to get the babies across the street. And well, it's she's cheaper concerned. than a bridge. And, and where she's is future, this on She's West a future Elf? conservation West commission Elf. member. Yes. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Mm -hmm. Green okay. police agent in the future. All right, so. How much does a sign like that cost? $125. I guess my only question, and I'm certainly not against duck crossing signs, but is that <laughs> it happened once seasonally? Uh, it could never happen again. Uh, we, well, honestly, we, you know, I've I, been here 33 <laughs> years. We've never installed one once. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, well, uh, ducks do have a way of nesting in the same areas, but I mean, unfortunately, it, the ducks can't read where they're yeah, supposed to cross. Yeah, I was yeah, exactly <laughs> like turtles. That's a, good, that's a good point. Like turtles. And the people don't stop either when they no, no, they see a sign, exactly, especially yeah. on that corner. They're, they're in talking with some of the people mm -hmm. just recently. It might open the door to other things because if we supply a duck crossing sign there. Uh, there are other places who will want a duck crossing sign or a turtle, crossing. Or a, well, a <laughs> turtle, turtle crossing, crossing sign <laughs> or a muscarat crossing <laughs> sign or something else. And, Snakes. Uh, and <laughs> the DPW is not necessarily far because the more signs that are up there, the more signs get knocked down, the more things you have to work yeah. around and all that stuff. The intention is good though. Yep. What, was a duck actually harmed? I don't no. know. I no. don't. I didn't hear of any duck homicides. Yeah, yeah and 120. And I don't mean to be sound harsh, but 125 dollars could buy a few more ducks, even if we didn't want to do it. <laughs> It'll slip I some more eggs in for the mom. Um, and I'm not sure that the uh, duck crossing sign is going to slow anybody yeah, down no, on that road no, because it, it hasn't in 50 years. No. If, if so, we should put a little note if they can read, watch out for the snapping turtles when you're swimming Yeah. for the ducks. You know? This is the way, and you guys do what you want because this is another one I'm not going to vote on, but any sign that the DPW isn't responsible to provide, we give them the option, if you're willing to pay for the sign, we'll install it. But if it's knocked over, we're not buying another one. It's a it's That's a very reasonable. It's a it's a one shot deal for us. We'll be more than happy to go out and install a sign. But right. you pay for it yeah. if Maybe you want it back up. Yeah. Yep. That makes sense. So for the record, if the family is if the family wants to buy it, forward, the I'd DPW like that will, the DPW will install it. Somebody's gonna have a lemonade stand. <laughs> do we have I move that else? we do so, not we do not entertain buying a duck crossing sign. I second. I don't think the first. I've never seen that. Okay. If the people in the area want a duck crossing sign, 
I agree. I agree. So that's what we're fighting crossing cards. This is actually a motion, a motion and a second. He's uh, made a motion. Okay. He's a motion has been made and seconded not to fund the duck crossing sign on West Elm Street. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously. Mm -hmm. and, and Scott yeah. is going Who sends the letter? Do we send that letter to the people, the family? Is that how do you um, deal with that? I'm communicating with Jen. So okay. Right. With the stipulation, if yeah. they want to buy it's it, not that we don't. I, we I, I think we want to make sure. Right. It's not that right. we don't think. It, yeah. You know, yes. anything else, we just we're not don't dissing think the our idea. Funds be it's used for that it's more about setting precedent, yeah. I think, for yeah. other things yeah. as yeah. opposed to this I incident. Agree. Yep. It's, I will communicate. It's it's a tough one. Yeah. And then maintenance of it would be their responsibility. Okay. Okay. Thank and you. replacement. Motion just, adjourn. Oh, I just second one, that. One, one second. Um, <laughs> did we ever get to the Pembroke watershed? We were going to invite them. I haven't them. been able to reach them. They okay. only um, there's, there's don't there's have much info on how to get in touch with them. Um, All right. Okay. So Kathleen. I've sent an email, which has not been responded to, but I'm trying to find other ways to get in touch. Okay. So it's it's on your radar screen. Yes. That's good. All right. A motion has been made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? We are adjourned. All right. There was the signing form that went around. Do you leave the stuff right on the table here, or do you put it away? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.